We were called the 1975 and we're from Manchester in England and I suppose we're quite new but we've been together for 10 years. We got very popular very very quickly over like a year but I, I don't know I, I'm very happy that the band has had so much success you know and I'm not uncomfortable with the band becoming more successful that doesn't bother me at all I think that's a good thing I'm slightly uncomfortable with myself becoming more famous I don't really like that idea very much well I used to think I did but I don't really and then um, but yeah no it, it's amazing you know it's very very flattering to be in such a well accepted band and have people talk about the band so much in so many nice ways. It's cool. I try not to describe ourselves as, as any band. I don't really know what type of band we are. I think it's difficult to say exactly what we sound like, but yeah, there's a lot of influences from R&B and, and kind of mainly black American music. And um, I'd probably say we're a pop band. I'd probably say we were a pop, more a pop band than a rock band, but a bit of both, I think. The album, we started recording it in like spring of, of 2012 and finished it, no, aut that kind of autumn of 2012 and finished it in spring 2013 and it was a long process that kind of we invested so much of ourselves in it because it was the album that kind of defined the past 10 years. There, there's so many, uh, there wasn't a message initially like we wrote, well lyrically like I wrote the album before anybody knew who I was so I wasn't thinking like what's the message or is this too personal are people going to relate to it it just al the album ended up being like a scrapbook you know of conversations and, and, and situations that kind of when it was all put together made this the story of our youth you know I think that's what the, the album is you know it, like everything that we do it was totally down the middle like the critics half the critics absolutely loved it and couldn't get enough of it half of them hated it like I think Vice called it the worst album of the year so it's so funny isn't it like how subjective music can be and um, I don't really care though our fans have, have, have embraced it massively um, which is really nice you know um, but crit the crit I don't know what the critics said I read some nice ones I read some bad ones and then I, and then I stopped reading if we put it in black and white it meant there was kind of safety when we first started it was because we wanted some security you know we wanted it not to be too exposed by like a video with color and everything and then it became a theme and we realized that our music was really poppy and very colorful so we kind of juxtaposed it with an image that was darker and, and made you think a bit more and I think those kind of things that juxtaposition of upliftingness with introspective kind of dourness is different Well, the tour has been insane. I mean, we've pretty much been on tour since December, really. And we don't really come off tour until December of next year. I mean, we've got a couple of days off and stuff, but this European tour has been amazing. It's the last night tonight in Vienna. We fly to Hong Kong in the morning and then do some shows out there, then Ameri back to America. And then we've got one show in the UK. I don't know, we do, we're so busy, I can't even think about it. But it it's going really well. We might do a new EP at the end of next year and then we'll record the next album in 2015. Um, I'm on tour until then. Yeah, there'll be another video. We're shooting a video for Settle Down pretty soon um, in January, um, just the, the day after Brixton Academy. So I don't have any time to like party or anything. I've got to go straight up and film the video for Settle Down. But, but yeah, no, it's gonna be it's going to be good fun. Hello, I'm Matthew from the 1975 and you're watching Correct Blog.